So hello everyone, welcome back if you remember me. So it's been five months since I uploaded my last video on IDs for Python as you can see right here. But uh, this still left some bit uh, of Python videos in the series but before that I I, I was just roaming through this page like my own YouTube channel so I saw these and uh, these 10 videos from here right here I regret the most okay <laughs> to be honest so see this thumbnail do you feel like no so and it's it, it, it was when I was still in Windows 8 and now actually I'm not even in Windows I have moved to Linux because Windows isn't working out for me so the point is that it's pretty old it was two years ago and uh, things have changed I have changed HTML has changed and there's a lot to cover so I'm going to make like a 2.0 series of HTML and there will be some optimizations and advanced python videos coming up so if you are into that subscribe for that also but for now for like one or two weeks it's going to be full html i'll try to cover almost all things a bit of css too and we'll see how things work so so in this video as a classic step we'll be installing our code editor since last time i have changed a bit so last time i told notepad plus plus but you know i like vs code a lot and i recommend it too so just go to code.visualstudio.com and i am in linux so it shows these two files if you are in windows it will just show one file click on that install it it's pretty simple i have gone about this in the first video of python also so follow that if you have some doubts and if you have problems comment down below but after installing vs code there are certain things first go into extensions and install this extension called live sas where is it yeah here yeah. this we are not going to do css anymore it's the old school way so in this tutorial series we are going to be doing sas it's just like a more advanced uh, version of css but it has variables and functions and things like that which normally only programming languages do css is not a programming language even html is not for that matter but sas kind of makes it like a programming language you can do s functions variables and stuff it's just better than just plain old CSS and another one is live server for VS code yeah here and to be kind of like I don't know what to say but kind of feature is that both these extensions which I like a lot is made by the same person it's he's called Ritwik Day and uh, he's from India too so Indian but for the actual matter the thing is that you have to install these two extensions it's going to save you a lot of trouble and it's pretty nice so my support for him as well as i expect yours to so just install the extensions and meet you in the next video thank you <laughs> 